So the overall, it's really interesting. There was another fire sign that I pulled these exact same cards for. So there must be something in the air. Um, I can't remember which fire sign it was. I believe it was Aries. Um, but I'm not sure. The overall energy I pulled for your card was the Eight of Swords, which this is feeling stuck, feeling like you're not able to move. Um, but what I want to say to you is it's not the actual situation. It's just your thinking, um, overthinking, overanalyzing, worrying, because I do feel like I want to say to you, you know, you've got the ability to get yourself out of this situation. Um, you just basically have to be willing to take the step to take off the blindfold, see something from a different perspective and cut yourself free. Um, so a nice little message there for you. The angel card that I pulled for you, Sagittarius, was Innocence. It says, Beloved one, everyone is guiltless in the truth. As no one can alter God's handiwork of perfection, give us your feelings of heaviness so we can lighten your load. Give us any anger, guilt, or blame that may shroud your loving outlook. Enjoy the peace within your heart once more. So beautiful, beautiful card. I love this card. And, and what I love so much about this card is it really encourages you to speak your truth. Um, and to follow your heart and to not let lower vibrational energies such as guilt, um, worry, anxiety, keep you from having peace in your heart. So, uh, and I was inspired to really bring out um, my crystals as well during your reading. So, um. I'm really feeling like I want to say to you, Sagittarius, this month, it's really all about you spreading your wings, stepping into your power. Some of you guys may be having a new idea, new project, new career move, uh, and I'm definitely feeling like that's going to be a good thing for you. I feel like there's a lack of clarity in some areas, and I definitely feel like this is possibly between choosing two people. Um, or two different directions. But what I really want to say, and I've been wanting to say it since I pulled it, is please remember to choose yourself. That it's not about choosing one or the other. It's always about choosing you and listening to your heart um, and standing up for what you believe in and having enough pride for standing up for your beliefs. Um, there might even be some people or situations that are keeping you from making a decision. But again, I just feel like I want to say to you, and it's been on my mind now for a while uh, as I'm staring at that card, please remember to choose yourself. Have enough uh, love in yourself and a love, enough love for yourself. And it's interesting, the high priestess is right underneath that. So listen to your intuition this month, Sagittarius. Listen to where you're being guided. Um, it'll be really good for you. Um, I do want to say to you, it'll lead to celebrations. Um, you're not alone. You have friends. You have happy situations and new beginnings. Just don't be so quick is what I want to say to you to move forward. Just take some time, observe the situation, um, and then allow yourself to feel first and then act. Some of you guys actually might be moving away from some marriages um, and moving towards a more fulfilling relationship or structure. And I want to remind you that that particular situation, whether it's with um, a karmic soulmate, your twin, whatever, I just want to say to you that I feel like I want to encourage you to see it from a higher perspective, that it's encouraging you to grow on a soul level. And I want to say to stop overthinking, stop overanalyzing everything, like give your chronic thinking a rest um, and know that whatever the situation was around this person or around this situation, it's not a failure. Um, you've just literally been giving, given an opportunity to grow and expand your consciousness um, I even want to say to you, for those of you who are really being encouraged to meditate, please do so. Um, I feel like it'll help bring more clarity to you. Um, and like I was saying, in regards to work, I definitely feel like some of you are actually really putting either time or you're wanting to put time into some sort of new project. You're feeling the call to serve. Um and you're wanting to stop what it is that you're doing. And I want to say that like that's going to be really good for you. 
Um, just allow yourself to come from a balanced perspective. Uh, put in the work. And remember that it's all about giving and receiving, not over giving. Okay. And I do feel like this is in regards to some sort of like business partnership or um, I also still want to say like allowing yourself to be guided and then taking action. So feeling first and then acting. There's no need for you to uh, make it so difficult. For those of you who are feeling the call to serve, I definitely feel like this is something that you should be doing. It's at the center of your reading. Um, it may be slow and you might be, yeah, she came out again. Um, it might be something that you're like, how in the heck would this even work on a practical level or how is this even logical? But I do want to say to you, listen to your intuition. So any of you light workers out there who are wanting to expand on a spiritually based practice um, or anybody who's just wanting to share their light or help anyone, um, just, you know, you're just feeling the call to serve. You're wanting to help people. Please allow yourself to get quiet, listen to your intuition and let your heart guide you. It's a big message for you. I believe you're the only sign this month that I've pulled this for. And especially at the middle of the spread, it's important for you. Very, very important because you're going to have victory in that. Um, what I almost feel like with this is like, for those of you who like consider yourself wounded healers, those of you who have been able to, um, you know, take the pains from the past, take the lessons you've learned and turn that into helpful situations or um, being able to help other people. I just feel like that's why you had to go through what you're going through and now you're helping others. Um, so it's just about you seeing some things from a different perspective and realizing that, you know, adversity uh, and challenges are always the best way for us to learn and that it did serve a purpose. Um, these challenges that you've been going through have served a purpose. I do also feel like there's some attachments uh, that you're going to have to get past. Some of you might be feeling literally chained to old situations, um, definitely to people. Uh, I definitely feel like there's some shadow work that needs to be done. Um, and I feel like it's really about allowing yourself to love yourself enough to let things that are no longer serving you die away and get, get out of your way. Um, and it's just fear. It's just fear of the unknown. But I almost feel like you already know which way you want to go. You just kind of have to allow it. And um, I love that the Eight of Wands is underneath that because what I feel like is that when you do allow it to just go, um, it's going to be pretty fast movement forward for you. I, I do feel like I want to say to you, like, the world is your oyster right now. Um you just need to really realize that endings are merely new beginnings, which this is what this is all about. Um, I also have the Fool for you here, which is super exciting. Whenever I have the Fool in anybody's spread um, or any of the signs spread, I always get really excited because the Fool is the most powerful card in the tarot. Um, and it seems to be that like for some reason with you this month, I have to keep reminding you that it's really important for you to follow your inner voice. But the fool is somebody who they listen to their intuition and they just go with it. Um, they don't allow fear to control them. They listen to their heart um, and they don't allow the, what I want to say is the beast of the mind uh, to distract them from what their goals are or from, loving themselves fully enough to take that journey, to take that leap. So I do feel like I want to encourage you to trust um, and know that, yeah, there might be some vulnerability issues for you, you know, um, but please do trust because what I feel like is you're not allowing yourself to love yourself fully um, and to open yourself up to new experiences it's like that quote, an open heart is a broken heart. I believe Rumi or a broken heart is an open heart, something like that. Um, but in order to love, you have to be vulnerable. Uh, and that includes loving yourself fully. Uh, and I definitely feel like you're moving towards that. I do feel like I want to talk to you about your patience levels. Um, you know, and towards the end of the month, it definitely feels like that's something that, that's good. I'm, I've got the Ten of Swords here, which means like all your overthinking and overanalyzing and over, you know, it's going to be done. You're going to be able to come into a place of love fully for yourself, but you just have to be patient. 
Um, I feel like I want to say as well when I'm holding this card, you don't have to know exactly how you're going to get there. Um, you don't have to feel like in order for you to make a decision, you have to know exactly how the outcome is. I feel like I want to encourage you to just get creative, go with the flow, listen to your heart, and observe. Observe. Very much so. Very much. Um, getting quiet and getting in touch with your own vibration. But I do feel like I want to say to you, like, spread your wings. It's time for you to grow, um, especially with this new idea or new project or new. I feel like it's very much divinely inspired. It's very much um, on your soul path and a destined thing. Uh, and I even want to say to you, like, remember who you are. Very, very, very much so. And and it'll manifest for you. Um but you, you know, it's all about you listening to her. The high priestess energy here being in, this, in the center of the spread, this is somebody who knows. She knows just because she knows. No one has to tell her anything. She just knows. Um, she listens to her heart and she allows, she invites creations into her life. She doesn't force things to happen in her life. She just allows so um, with that being on the service card and the new practical beginning, I just feel very strongly like I want to encourage you to just kind of allow situations to start coming into your life. Um, and I also feel like I want to mention the repetitive thinking that some of you might be having, the repetitive thoughts, but they're divinely inspired. So if you are going through a situation right now where you're like, oh, this would be kind of a cool business idea, or this would be, this is what I want to do. Or, you know, and you're just continually getting that little nudge. Listen to that voice within. Okay, I am going to pull three cards from the Magical Mermaids Dolphin, uh, Dolphin deck by Doreen Virtue. I love the practical messages on these cards. And the first, nice, the first one I have for you is a new dawn. The worst is now behind you and positive new experiences are on the horizon. Yes, yes. It's all about remembering that endings are merely new beginnings um, and it's all about patience and you being the fool and trusting where it is that life is trying to take you right now um, and listening to your heart and allowing yourself to open up and be a little vulnerable um, and just coming into a place of self-love. Um, so that's exciting for you. Oh, interesting. Right underneath that is, yes, your intuition is correct. Take action accordingly. <laughs> so. The second message I have is watch your thoughts. It's important to only think about what you desire, not what you fear. So again, like I was saying before, um, especially when it comes to any kind of a soulmate, twin flame type of community, whatever it is that you're perceiving failure over, I do feel like I want to say to you, get clarity by going into meditation, um, and, you know, give the overthinking a rest. We all do it. We all do it. The third message, nice. I have music for manifesting. To manifest to manifest rapidly, think of your desire while you chant, hum, sing, or play music. This is something that works so well for me, I can't even tell you. I mean, I am Claire Audience, so I do get messages through music. Um, but I'll tell you what, when I find myself in a slump or um, just not feeling very well or whatever the situation is, I can easily turn on my headphones and begin thinking about what it is that I want to create or what my goals are. And it's so interesting that after like an hour of listening to music, um, the new ideas, the fresh perspectives, and the amount of energy I have um, when it comes to obtaining new goals. So really cool message. Uh, and I do feel like this is actually for some magicians out there. Is, I'm sorry, musicians, magicians, musicians as well. Um, so, and I, I do sing, so music is definitely a big part of manifesting for me as well. 
Uh, I'm also going to pull three cards from the Dorian Virtue Romance Angel, Angel deck. And please keep in mind that this is for whoever it is that you're thinking about. So go ahead and set your intentions. The first one I have for you is calling in your soulmate. Your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. So one thing I want to just kind of comment on a little bit about is I have the 1111 card for you, which is a card of marriage. It's my twin card as well. Um, and then I have the growth. I want to expand my consciousness and my awareness. So what I love here is how it talks about your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring you together. I keep feeling like I want to say to you, visualize to materialize. Um, because meditation isn't just about getting signs and symbols um, to get clarity. It's also about visualizing and sending out your intentions of what it is that you want to draw into your life. The second one I have is healing family issues. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. And the third one I have is Flirt. Extend your lighthearted energy to others. Whenever I get this card, um, I want to say that it's always about being lighthearted, living in your light, living in your truth, sharing sweet energy and joy with everyone. Um, because when we do that, we attract more love and light and joy into our lives. So... I also feel um, very guided this month to pull a Ascended Masters card for everyone that I'm reading for. Um, so I'm going to do that as well as read from the book the description of what it is that I pull. I'm actually quite excited for you, Sag. Like I just I really feel like when you come into this place of self-love, um, you're going to really be able to manifest some really cool things or begin to start manifesting some really cool things. Moving towards victory. Starting new projects. Um, I just keep feeling like I want to say to you, like just really coming into a place of solid self-love and self-worth and not letting fear affect you anymore. I love this. I got for you, focus upon your strengths, Apollo. That's a big message, especially um, with what I've been talking about with you. I mean, this is, wow, I'm actually, and right underneath that I got follow your heart. So, I will go ahead and read from the guidebook, Apollo. If I can find it, I'm so sorry. Okay, it says, this card reminds you to focus upon your strength and not upon any perceived weaknesses. Your strengths could include your loving heart, pure intentions, people, skills, hobbies, or something that you excel in. Even if your talents still need polishing, these are strengths and assets. The more you bless and appreciate your strengths, the stronger they'll grow. If you focus upon any so-called weaknesses, they will also grow. This card comes to you as a reminder of the importance of viewing yourself with compassion and love. Anytime you find yourself thinking or feeling poorly about yourself, focus upon your strengths instead. Additional meanings for this card. Use daily positive affirmations to lift your energy and faith. Speak of yourself in positive terms. Begin an exercise program to build and tone your muscles. Uh, this is a message of love or healing about a brother or brother figure. Um, and a little bit of Apollo is about Apollo is Apollo is a Greek sun god who's the son of Zeus and twin brother of the god Artemis. Apollo is a powerful deity who can bring out the sunshine in your life literally and figuratively. Renowned for his physical strength, Apollo can also act as a personal trainer to motivate your exercise program. He can also help you gain emotional and intellectual strength. So fantastic. 
I love that. I'm also going to pull a life purpose card. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Um, I am pulling one life purpose card for every reading this month. So for any of you who are wanting some guidance there, or um, you know, it could just be a set few who are watching. Ah. I've got strength. Everything you have experienced in your life has made you strong and courageous. This, I love this. This is what I was saying earlier. I feel like for some of you who are um, feeling like you know you're a wounded healer, um, this adversity, these challenges that you had gone through or have gone through are helping you to realize that you're here to help other people. So I love that. And the fact that you got Apollo, focus upon your strength and you've got strength here. Um, I'm going to leave it at that. So 